We have a video of our MRM-1 module called RASVET, or DAWN. The MRM-1 was built by the Energia Corporation at their facility on the outskirts of Moscow and delivered to KSC on December 17th of last year. In addition to the science facilities inside the module, there are a number of important items on the external of the module. You have the European robotic arm spare elbow and the grapple fixture that will be used by the SSRMS to position the module for installation. Then on top of the module in the graphic, you have a radiator and an airlock, both of which will ultimately be installed on the Russian multi-purpose laboratory module, which is scheduled for launch in early 2012. On top of the airlock, you can see the second grapple fixture. This one will be used by the shuttle robotic arm to pull the module out of the payload bay. And then we have a portable work platform that will ultimately be used by EVA crew members to control the European robotic arm from outside the space station. We can go directly into a video we have of MRM-1 while it was being processed at Cape Canaveral. Here you see MRM-1 outfitted and almost ready for transfer to the launch pad. Then we have the airlock again. This one, like the airlock on the Japanese module, is sized for scientific payloads and hardware, not for personnel. And then back behind the airlock, you can see the radiator that's destined for MLM, as well as there below the airlock, the portable work platform. MRM-1, as Mike mentioned, will be installed on flight day five. It'll be attached to the nadir port of the Zarya module. That's the Earth-facing port. Here you see the docking system that'll be so critical to our activation, installation activities as it was installed by the Energia personnel there at the Cape. This is the same docking system that is used on all of our progress and Soyuz vehicles. So we have a great deal of experience both in MIR and ISS with uh, this hardware. Here you see the opposite end of the module and this the docking port that will be used for future Soyuz and Progress flights. And then as the module spins, you can see the spare elbow joint for the European arm is shrouded there on the lower part of the module. And then you see the grapple fixture that will be used by the station arm coming into view there on the right. That grapple fixture is critical to installation because it's the path for power and data to and from the module. And this is the first time we're going to install a module on ISS using the robotic arm to pass data and control to the active side of the docking mechanism. Um, usually for modules installed by the arm, the active half of the mechanism is on ISS, so that'll be a new operation for us. The module's about 23 feet long, weighs a little over 17,000 pounds, and here finally you see it inserted in the payload canister, ready for transport to the launch pad.